Hey everyone, welcome back to Max's Corner, and this is the second video in the series of my best baseball cards from every decade, and this is the 1960s, um, so let's get it started. This is probably my favorite card from the 60s, or actually probably my favorite card that I have. Uh, it's a Hank Aaron Topps 1964 Giant card. It's a PSA 7, but I've looked at this thing like a hundred times and it looks perfect. I don't know how it's only a 7, uh, but it's a pretty cool card. Uh, in the 50s, they made cards a little bit bigger, but they had a series called Topps Giants. This is a Topps Giant, and it's humongous. So, it's a pretty cool card, probably my favorite, and yeah. So here go the 1960s, we're going to start with the one 1960 card, Willie McCovey. It's his rookie card, too. I believe all of these are tops. This is a Carl Strumsky rookie card for the Boston Red Sox. I actually got a puzzle of him in a hobby box from the 60s. Hank Aaron, 1961 Topps baseball card. And then 1962, a rookie parade. This is a Bob Euchre rookie. That's mainly who it's about. Uh, a decent player, but a great announcer, Hall of Fame announcer for the Milwaukee Brewers. He was in a few movies like Major League and Major League Two. Hank Aaron, 1962. Now the next one kind of has a story. It's uh, Mickey Mantle and Willie Mays, uh, man manager's dream. 1962 Topps card. Uh, as story goes, Willie Mays couldn't stand Mickey Mantle. I've heard stories of when Willie Mays signs things with Mickey Mantle on them. He signs his autograph right over Mickey Mantle's face. So this is a 1963 uh, rookie stars. Willie Stargio rookie. That's mainly who it's about. Sixty-three Power Plus Ernie Banks and Hank Aaron card. This is probably one of my favorites in um, in the sixties, along with this one, Tops and NL, nineteen sixty-four uh, Hank Aaron and Willie Mays card. And then this is this is a Hank Aaron card. These are all in good shape. Nineteen sixty four Pete Rose. I know it says Tops nineteen sixty three All Star Rookie. It's a sixty four card, so it's his second card. Nineteen sixty five rookie stars, a Steve Carlton rookie. Great pitcher for the Cardinals. I met him at an autograph show in Iowa. Field of Dreams. A Hank Aaron sixty five card. This is a 1965 Rookie Stars Joe Morgan Rookie. And then 1966. We don't have any 1966, so this is a 1967 Rookie Stars Tom Seaver. Uh, and he just announced that he's retiring public life, so he's not going to be out in public anymore because he's very sick. 1967 American League Rookie Stars, Rod Carew. This is a 
this is a oops forgot to show you the back Rod Crew Rookie this is a Hank Aaron card 1967 not many cards now have their stats up and down they usually have them side to side this is a Willie Mays 1967 tops 1967 Mickey Mantle, outfielder for the Yankees. He was one of the few players to win Triple Crown, Mickey Mantle was. Uh, 1968, rookie stars Johnny Bench, rookie. I met him too in the at Field of Dreams. 1968, rookie stars Nolan Ryan. And Jerry Kuzman was a really good pitcher, too. He's not in the Hall of Fame. But Nolan Ryan is arguably the best pitcher in the history of baseball. 1968, Hank Aaron. The last 1968 card in this pile. And then 1969... Reggie Jackson rookie card. They make lots of reprints of some rookie cards. Um, I met him too, but I have a reprint of this rookie card. But this is the real thing. 1969 Mickey Mantle. 1969 Mickey Mantle. This one has the stats across instead of up and down. Hank Aaron. The last card that we have in this video. So those are my best cards of the 60s. I think it's really cool looking at old cards because of all the color and all the cool borders and designs. Um, like every single year was something way different from the last. Um, but those are my cards from the 1960s. Thank you for watching Max's Corner. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Watch out for more videos. Comment down below uh, any questions or what your favorite baseball cards are. But uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and see you later.